Speaking of、uh, creation, Eri, I actually have something I want to talk to you about. I have something that I want your thoughts on. I feel like this is going to be a sales pitch.、Oh, it is to some extent.、One. The transition that I、okay. kind of want to make when it comes to to to、uh, creation is kind of like I want to talk about this, and I kind of want to ask you something because if what if I told you that I don't think that anybody created the 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 virtual world, this VR chat world. What, if, what you, how do you think you would react to me making a statement like that, saying I, I truly, genuinely believe that's what happened? Oh,、uh, yeah, I think I know what this might be leading to.、Um, what do you think this is leading yeah, to? Yeah, I think this is probably going to be leading to a discussion about evolution. That's the word I'm looking yeah, for. Yeah, that, that's yeah, that's a part of it. Yeah, that's a part of it. I mean, that it, it's it's definitely a part of the conversation. It's definitely it definitely it definitely has something to do with it. Now, really, what I want to do is is challenge you guys to kind of take that logic of claiming that let's say evolution, right? That everything just happened. It just created itself. Nobody, you know, instigated it. It just happened. It took a long time, but it all just pfft, popped into existence from nothing. Basically, that's what evolution says, right? So, if you take that logic of Creation and you apply it to the real world outside the virtual world. What are your thoughts on that? What do you think about that that kind of idea? I don't quite know how to explain my thoughts outside of that. What I have seen of the evolutionary theory makes sense to me.、Mm -hmm. I can't explain every minute particle because I'm not a molecular scientist. They gotta be doing something with those research degrees. <laughs> yeah, I'm an English doing, major. <laughs> they got they gotta be doing something, right? <laughs> Eri, do you think? Do you believe in the scientific impossibility that everything in the universe, like space, time, matter, came into、Molecules、existence from、yeah. nothing, and in one moment in time it just kind of existed、Exploded、for no reason? Like everything that makes up、yeah. both the universe and also like the stuff that makes up this fake universe, this fake world, is made up by like things in our real universe. It's like, did that just? Poof into existence. I don't think we have any way of knowing. Personally, I think the Big Bang theory is plausible to an extent,、mm -hmm. um, just based on how we know that molecules react to certain things. I think that、yeah. there's probably something that used to be there that is no longer there that kickstarted into gear,、um, because we see it with the creation of universes. Otherwise, like that's something that is observable. I've got my feelings on things, and I can't really articulate、cool. them、okay. at the moment because it's three in the morning. Can you give me? Can you give me five more minutes, Eri? Five more minutes, and I won't no, go into I any deep complicated stuff. I'm sorry, my brain is、stuff. leaking out of my ears, man. This is too much. <laughs> I really want to just go. So <laughs> It was nice meeting y'all, but uh. As you can see in that last session, she left before we could even get to the gospel, and that sometimes does happen. In fact, it happens a lot more often than you would you would want it to, but it does happen. But as you will see in the next video, God used that to actually bring more people in, and we were able to speak to over five different people that night about the gospel. And at the end, a person had a wonderful thing to say about how the gospel and the way that it was shared was not like anything else that they had experienced before. And this is a great blessing because it means that the gospel had gotten to that person.